This demonstration was prepared by Engineered Fall Protection. This demonstration is to show how to inspect self-retracting lifeline or SRL. This unit is a Protecta Rebel. First thing you need to do is check the outside housing of the unit. You can see this one is dirty, has a little bit of wear and it's faded. It's definitely seen a lot of use but it appears to be in uh, good working condition. You just want to make sure there aren't any cracks or obvious major damage that may affect the internal function of the unit. Next check the hardware and make sure nothing is missing and all the housing screws are secured. Now check the carabiner. I usually remove it to get a better look. Make sure there aren't any deformities or cracks. Also use the self-locking gate to make sure it's in good working order. Check for rusting on carabiners and snap hooks. Surface rust can be removed with steel wool, but rust pitting can compromise the strength of the connectors and also hinder function of moving parts. Those should be taken out of service. Check the pivoting connector to see that it has smooth 360 degree movement. It's an important part of its functionality. Now check your snap hook. Start by checking the self-locking gate. Once you depress the palm side of the snap hook, the gate should open freely and lock back into place. If either of these mechanisms are damaged or not functioning, the SRL needs to be taken out of service. Just behind the snap hook you'll find an impact indicator. Make sure it hasn't been impacted. If this unit had been in a fall, the metal bushing shown here would push up it would expose a red indicator in this area here. If that's the case, the SRL needs to be taken out of service immediately. Now it's time to inspect the cable. Make sure you're wearing gloves just in case there's any burrs in the line. Start by pulling out the cable by the handle and visually inspecting the cable and run your gloved hand along it checking for burrs, frays, dents, or anything that might affect the function of the SRL. Also check for excessive dirt or grease. These things can bind up inside the cable housing. Make sure you do this throughout the entire length of the cable. When you reach the end of the cable, let it back into the housing. Pull quickly in the cable every couple of feet to engage the brake. As you can see, it needs to be pulled out pretty fast to replicate a fall. Last thing you need to do is pull back the rubber handle and check the swage points to make sure the cable hasn't moved from its original position. Put the rubber handle back into place and that concludes the inspection of this SRL. If you're using an SRL with webbing line, all the same inspections apply to the housing and snap hook as we discussed earlier. As you can see, this SRL has an absorption pack that needs to be inspected to make sure it hasn't been in a fall. This one is intact and hasn't shown any indication of impact. This is an obvious one that has. As you can see, the inner webbing is coming out of the absorption pack. Protecta uses white webbing in the pack to make sure it's easy to tell it's been impacted. Definitely take this one out of service. Now you're ready to check the webbing. We do this the same way as the last SRL. Pull out the webbing, check for frays, tears, or burns from fire or chemicals. If you notice any of these things, take it out of service. Just like the last SRL, pull on the webbing quickly to check the brake system every couple of feet. This concludes the demonstration of this SRL inspection. This demonstration was prepared by Engineered Fall Protection. Please visit us at engineeredfallprotection.com.